Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, uh, October 23rd, 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, and this is a recording previous to the USA Open. All right, so something strange is afoot in financial markets. Ever since the Fed's jumbo half point cut last month, long-term interest rates have been creeping up. That shouldn't happen. It's not only the thing that's odd, gold prices are hitting records and Bitcoin is booming. All the while, the economy is doing just fine, unemployment remains low, and the International Monetary Fund says global growth looks good, at least for now. To make sense of it all, you have to look at how expectations for inflation are shifting. It's true inflation rates have been coming down. That's why the Fed has started to reverse the aggressive rate increases it made when the COVID-19 pandemic ended. But doesn't, that doesn't mean the battle against price increases is over. The worry is that inflation will pick up again, which means the Fed will have to keep rates higher than normal. That is one reason why longer term rates as well as traditional inflation hedges such as gold have been rising. So let's take a look at what we can speculate for today's fluctuation. So we're in the daily uh, candlestick chart here on the NASDAQ. Yesterday was rather a low session. It did recuperate, but it, it just kind of made up the same print as the previous day, as Monday's. So with that being said, we you know we are just uh, doing the same kind of emotion. So we are just basically making equal highs, equal lows. So I the RSI is just flattish, really above the 50 marker. Companies are going to be obviously reporting Coca-Cola is one of them, but that that be for the Dow. So. Will we have a continuation to the, a move to the upside? Well, we are in the obviously earning season, so that should be the case. But anyhow, uh, for today, I will be so far staying on the sidelines for the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the S&P. The S&P also, even though it has been doing lower highs and lower lows that means uh you know a short term downtrend so let's see if today would be the same the same case and come down towards the uh 58 40 and rebound from here again i'm staying out of the s p as well the dow however is more has more volume on its candles the body of the candles are more Pronounce. Right now, we are just at that level of support. So, therefore, I'm going to have to lower that. Let's look to our left and see which level, which zone can we use. And this jumps right at me, this coffin of, of you know, this volume cluster, really. So, therefore, let's just use the top of that volume cluster and try to make as many candles as possible as to hit. So we're hitting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good enough. Ten candles. That's our support level. Resistance obviously is gonna stay the same. So as for so far, market is you no know, trending lower. So again, I'll be out of the uh Dow as well. Russell has a more pronounced downtrend than obviously the uh, the Dow. So let's use the 50 day moving average as our target. Let's bring down our level of resistance, uh, 2260. And you know, hey, if you want to be bullish, I mean, if you want to be a bearish, you know, be aggressive, you could be selling it. So let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil. Yesterday had a pretty decent move to the upside, came back down, touched 72, retreated from there. Today, we are doing a short sell-off. Now, will we find support and then rebound from the 70 in change? 
level or maybe actually 70 round number, psychological number. So let's see if that will be the case. And I'm still, I'm gonna say being, being long crude oil, buying crude oil, not gas. Uh, it's looking, yesterday it, it did just did a, a small short sell off into the medium range of the previous day of Monday. So the, the range is getting narrower. So net gas could have a nice little pop to the upside. Gold, well, gold making new highs, making new highs all the time. Uh, we are inside this channel, all right? So our resistance hasn't been, been violated, touched. So that's gonna remain the same. So let's just use those levels and being RSI is obviously outside of in the in the overbought territory. That correction could bring it back into into a neutral zone, and then we could finally you know just probably find another momentum to the upside as we come down towards our lower channel line. But being bullish, staying long in gold. Then we have silver, which is also making a comeback. Parabolic movement, consolidation, parabolic movement, pull back towards the middle of the yesterday's range. Right now it's bouncing off the upper boundary band. So let's just raise our target, yeah, but to 35 and a half. Let's leave the same level of support. Bind silver, copper. Let's take a look at copper. Copper, however, copper is reversing. Well, it, it was in a consolidation, equal highs, equal lows, copper congestion, and it's breaking to the downside. So let's use the 200 day moving average as our support. Uh, so going with the trend so far, or you could do a counter trend when it comes down to 424, see if it rebounds from there. Bitcoin, it was making a nice move to the upside. And, but all this week, it has just been trading lower and lower. So our level of support has been met. So we need to obviously change that. So let's use the 50 as our second, and our first, the 20 day moving average within the boundary band. And the resistance, we can at least leave those same levels. They all be met. Okay, so 65,000 seems to be the target for Bitcoin right now. If you are an aggressive seller, you'd be in a downturn. Then we have the Euro currency. It has broken that 108 psychological number. So the second level will be 107. And the first level will be, let's just use the uh, lower bond your band and see if that will be enough for this. As for support, well, we're gonna have to use yesterday's high wick, and let's just use the 200 day moving average as our tighter resistance levels for it. We have it, here we have, okay, so, yeah, trending lower, the that is above 104, so that's putting pressure on it. Same pressure on, on, on gold and metals. So we have, here we have the uh, the pound, let's just use those levels. All right, here we go. Nicely done. And the dollar index is just making a strong comeback. Nice move to the upside, 105. It's gonna be the target. Turn the moving average, the support. So as as long as the dollar rate continues to, to trend higher, we'll see those um, obviously bad pressure on the, uh, on the metals, but mostly on the currencies. That's it for me today. Have a great trading day. I'll see you tomorrow.